what's up dudes, Kubla Khan here, and welcome back to Far Cry 4. So, we're going to continue with our money finding kind of process, and uh, do another assassination mission. But this time, we're going with a sniper rifle. So, uh, we're going to experiment a little bit. Di oh god, fired an arrow. There we go. And uh, also, but before we get into that, I want to read the next letter of Mohangale. That one. Once victory is achieved in the absence of the royal heir, the Terran Matara will serve as the head of state under a regent. All industry, finance, and transportation will be nationalized. The Karate Army will be reformed under the command of Terran Matara. New trade agreements will be established into China and India, as well as the West, and a petition will be submitted to join the UN. Graduated income tax will be implemented, child labor will be abolished, and education will be free for all. Interesting. So they want to create a nicer, newer kind of location for everyone. That's, uh, that's not a bad system, economically, um, for growth. Uh, for one, uh, nationalizing industry and finance is not necessarily a good plan. Um, in a smaller state, it my might life. actually work okay, for my but country. typically you don't want to nationalize that kind of stuff. I can do it. Yeah? You can't be seen though. Stick to cover and hide the corporal's body if you can. Hey, don't worry about it. To take his dog tags, though. Oh yeah, gotta take the dog tag, so I gotta get close to him. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, I feel like Batman. Hold on, I gotta get into a higher perch before I can fly over there. Is that what Batman says? Because that's what... Uh-oh. That's what Kublai Batman says. Got it. Kublai. Kublai Batman! Yeah, there we go. Away! Woo! Kublai Batman. He's getting really close to the ground. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's boats over here. Uh oh. I meant to pull the parachute a little closer to the water. Then. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, can I borrow your boat? Can I borrow your boat? Okay. Thin line between courageous and crazy when you attack an outpost all by yourself. Um. Your boat is a little stuck. Kick, kick, kick the boat. RJ, always a pleasure to see you. Damn it! I wanted to use that boat because then I could snipe from it. But now if I use this boat, I can't exactly snipe from it. Oh well. Oh man, could you imagine using an elephant for an aquatic attack? That'd be pretty fun. All right. Oh, fish! Wow. Oh. <laughs> Shh, we got this, dudes. I feel so much more sneaky now. Like bush to bush. There it is again. There's one nearby. Hold on, hold on. All right, we got him. We're doing good. We got them. We have our pin figuring out where they are. Hanging out with the bees. They haven't heard the rock. Dang it. Try that one. You know, at this rate, we might actually be able to lead. Uh oh. Oh, 
Holy crap. I hate. He's been killed. Uh oh, I didn't mean for you to see that. Oh, please allow us for a takedown. Nice! Wow. Wow. Can't, we've had so much trouble with that in the past. Here we go. We're in. We're out. Nobody's the wiser. I'm not the wiser. Oh, can we throw his body into the water where the fishies are? Oh, do they eat him? They don't eat him. Oh, damn it. That would have been so cool. You know what? Okay. I was going to blow up the fish because it's really funny when you see them explode out of the water. But I'm convinced they'll get detected. And we're trying to make... Yeah, there we go. Now let's go back. All right, let's blow up the fishies. Fishing with dynamite. And just something blew up. Fishing with dynamite. You made your mark on these traitors, brother. They're starting to run and hide. Don't let that stop you from digging them out. Push, push, enter. See, See you later, yeah. suckers. <laughs> Woo! Ow! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Bob and Weave! Serpentine! Oh, that's a really big serpentine. Alright, there we go. Oh, noise. Aha! Suck it! I'm out of here. Alright. You wanna pick up a letter? See what that's all about? I'm into it. Hi, Elefanto! How you doing? How do we get over there, I wonder? It's like a cave? There it is. Ooh. Also, I really like flamethrowers because they protect you from animals really well. You just light them on fire and you're like, safe! Interesting. Pagan's Wrath is, like, just above us, apparently. I don't think we can get to them in time, though. I don't have enough items. I don't... I'm... Yeah. I'm kind of far away. Hmm. Uh, well, what did we just pick up, though? In the form of, like, a lost letter. Collection. From Robert, 1819. You have the foremost of my thoughts since we said so. The horrible morning misery has subsided. Promise me you will call for them, the doctor. Surely they can be cured through the application of medicine. And our leeches. Leeches, of course. The relentless heat here, a few steps will render me soaked in sweat, has made an unfortunate introduction to the breathtakingly beauty of Region of Karat. Training the local Gurkha Brigade, or rather, they are training me. Clearly, my highly qualified superiors of the East India Company overlooked their skill, both with blade, what they call Kukri or Kukri, and the rifle. I may inform the company as such and hasten my return to you. Local culture is intoxicating. You would be overwhelmed by the colors and design of their garments and tapestries. I hope to understand the meanings more fully. I miss you greatly and eagerly await your words. Versus the other one is the Shangri-La law thing. Ooh. That's interesting. This guy's kind of like going cray-cray. But on the flip side, so are we, so. Makes sense. Um. Pagan's Wrath. Wait, wait up. Wait up. Hold on. Oh, wow, I got close. Hold on. I wonder if I could fly over here. Oh, God, there's a fish. Just stay above the fish. Just stay above the fish. All right. Ooh, above the fish. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I thought that was enemy boat. Dang it. Aw. I was hoping maybe we could catch up to the Pagan's Wrath in this way. But, uh, yeah, anyway, it's, it's kind of like... People who see Shangri-La might actually be crazy, because we're assuming magic doesn't exist in this world. But, I don't know. Super gnarly, impressive, um... Uh, oh, they're all gone. Dang. <laughs> Super gnarly, impressive... Ooh, three points. Uh, where shall we go? Pagan's Wrath is still there. Um, there's stuff under the water. Hmm. 
Let's uh, let's pop back here and uh, ooh, there's another Pagan's Wrath. I wonder if they just like ride forward and go around and then you can meet them again. Let's uh, we'll do an eye for an eye again. That sounds like fun. Nice and simple. Allows us to get to where we want to go. Goodness indeed. But yeah. All right, dudes. Let's see. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's think about it. what shall we do. Um. So we can do it, like, chase Pagan's Wrath again, we could do it how we like to, or we could try, I don't know, perhaps, um, uh... He needs to die. Rot in all the hells for what he's done. Akuna Masada. <laughs> I was singing that when I was listening to them get angry before, and I was like, that just seems so sad in a way. Like, rubbing in the fact that, um, you know, like, it's just... It's, you just sometimes don't want to hear that means no worries kind of thing. What's happened? Can I help? Yes, kill him. Wow. Send him into the hells. He came with the royal army, tried to get us to join. And when we wouldn't, they killed everyone. Except me. That's horrible. He's taken over our house. Sorry, it's always horrible. I already tried to take it back, but it didn't go well. Too many soldiers. He just laughed and said my suffering was a pleasure. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I was I was busy doing my plyometrics, jumping up and down. Woo woo! All right, here we go. How much? I guess I'm supposed to kill him with a special weapon. Weapon. Bleh, weapon again. Poppies! Oh, face plant. Mobby. Flamethrowers, guys. You have an animal problem? It just scares them the hell away. It's fantastic. Now, it ruins all the pelts because they're on fire. But uh, it's great for if you don't really want to have the pelt. There we go. Whoop. Ow, God. He just face plants all that stuff. Ooh, with a revolver, I see. All right. with a handgun. You know, if I did rode this correctly, that could be one of the coolest entrances to killing the dude. But let's see. I don't see anyone else. There. Let's play a little bit silently, shall we? I missed. I hit him. I totally thought I got more of them. Here we go. Oh, perfect. We'll hit them one at a time. They won't notice. They noticed. Missed. Missed again. Oh, oh, ah, uh, fire. I love fire. Oh, that's him. That's him. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why did you run out of ammo? Oh, you have five shots, not six? No, you have six? Oh, hold on. Here's a... That'll scare him out. Oh, come on. No animals interested in the bait. Jeez. That was a lot harder than the shotgun. Alright. Getting your monies. Getting your pictures. Smile the cam. Nice. Whoa, a lot of fire. <laughs> hi -oh, everybody. Oh, this is probably going to explode in a second. Got to get away. Oh, nice. So it's really cool how they have always a side story for every, like, crazy person that you kill. I mean, sometimes they're really sad, like, hey, um, he killed my entire family. It's like, ooh. But they're almost sometimes jokingly horrible. Thank Kira, you brought justice to a lot of people, Ajay. I've been talking to them, and they'll start doing this for themselves. 
just a few more left to start the avalanche. And, uh, but, uh, also, it's like, and this is something that I noted in a game called Spec Ops, which I think I'll play eventually, because it's a really interesting story, kind of based game. Um, which is where when something so horrible happens in a game that, like, takes place in the real world, more or less, um, were they just a bunch of dogs hopping up at the truck? Anyway, when it, like, takes place in the real world, more or less, it's like, it feels, um, less real sometimes when something horrible happens, because it's like, no, there's no way that would actually happen that way, but it... The other reason it might feel like that is because it does actually happen that way. There are people that insane. Um, I mean, there was a recent, you know, like a recent shooting in a church, for example. And that's a, you know, horrible situation that occurred. And it's something where you have, you know, sometimes even in a video game where something real like that happens. Where this woman, she had her entire family killed and she tried to get her house back and they're like, ah, you're suffering... That's, you know, like a similar story, but it almost is funny for her. Like, it's too crazy. But then it happens in the real world still, and that's something I find really interesting about, kind of, um, at, at least in the case for me, but I think humans in general, where sometimes when these realistic things occur, in, like, video games or in art or whatever, they almost don't feel real anymore. Um, because, you know, but the thing is, they happen in the real world as well, and they're just as insane. And maybe it's... Um, that it's harder, it's, we relate so well that our body then represses it, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but it's, uh, it's interesting to bring up, too, because, um, you know, this is a very violent video game where I just shot a bunch of people. Um, and, you know, it's fun and interesting when, you know, it's kind of a reminder that, you know, we know this is fake, we, you know, of course you guys know, of course I know, uh, but it's just important to remember that sometimes, um, you have, like, this is a difficult subject for some people, you know, even this game kind of thing. And it's it's important just to remember that and keep, you know, a good head on your shoulders and just be like, we're lucky in a way. Or not even lucky, but we're fortunate. Uh, I was, Peter Dinklage was the first guy for me to hear him go, I don't like being called lucky. I like being called fortunate. I was fortunate to make the right decisions and that the right decisions turned to the right things. But lucky sounds like I had no control. I like to say um, that opportunity and luck are very inter uh, uh, integrated. Luck is just opportunity with preparation. Basically, there's millions of opportunities around you all the time. Have you prepared for them? Are you ready to take them? And uh, sometimes, you know, one person isn't. If I got a job offer um, that was for like an engineering thing, I don't have that skill set. Um, I'd have to prepare for it. It's that kind of thing. So anyway, dudes. Little, little is mind blurg as I'm going. But if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warmly in your sexy, sexy face. See you later, dudes. Bye.